Hello everybody, this is João Nuno Pinto from Portugal and I'm the director of Mosquito, the film you're about to watch. Uh, I hope I was there right now in Germany with you. We were all in the cinema, in the theater to, to talk to each other and, um, you know, to meet because I think uh, festivals have this incredible are this incredible opportunity for filmmakers and the audience to meet and to interact so i will be very glad if you reach me if you give me your feedback if you have any question i will be very happy to answer and uh, to to uh, reach to you all that uh, that send me a message you can find me in a uh, facebook or in Instagram, so feel free to do it and enjoy this beautiful festival with amazing films. Bye bye. Uh, when I began, the idea of this film uh, wasn't exactly to tell the story of the uh, First World War, it was to tell a part of the story of my grandfather and um, his uh, lonely odyssey in Africa searching for the war. So my father, my father, sorry, my grandfather, which I never knew because when I was born he already passed away many years ago um, because I like my, my, my father, he's the youngest of seven brothers and I'm the youngest of four, so I'm really in the end of the line uh, in terms of generational. So, um, but when my grandfather was 17 years old, he was sent to Mozambique to fight in, during the First World War and to fight the Germans. And he got malaria and he was kept behind. And so he was in this... Um, this lonely uh, journey uh, through the jungle and through the savanna to to find uh, to find the war, and that particular um, story always intrigued me because it has had to be uh, terrifying and at the same time fascinating because this young boy decided to stay in Mozambique after. It. And because he stayed in Mozambique, my father was born in Mozambique and I was born in Mozambique. So that, that trip, that journey, that personal journey um, was the reason that I was born in Africa. And always intrigued me what happened there, uh, what really happened there to, so that he decided to stay. But the moment that I start researching for the film, um, I start understanding that this war in particular, like in, in Africa and in, in particular in Mozambique, uh, was much more interesting and urgent to tell than the story of my grandfather. And not only the story of the, the, the war, but the colonization itself. Because through this war, and through this uh, uh, war experience of Europeans uh, fighting in Africa, uh, not Europeans fighting Africans, it's Europeans fighting Europeans in the African continent, tell, tell us um, a lot about what, uh, what it was the colonization what is the, the subjug subjugation of people by uh, the Europeans. Um, it, it was, you know, like all the wars, it's an extreme situation that puts people uh, in extreme behaviors, but also reflect what us Europeans um, did, the savagery, the violence, the barbaric that we did in um, during the colonization. So all that for me uh, was very, very uh, important 
to, to talk about in the film. And more, even more important was because we don't learn much about uh, uh, what happened in Africa. We know, we all know and we all learn what happened during the First World War in France. So we, we all learned that was the German part and the Allies part and they all fought in the trenches in France and it was horrendous. But the African part, uh, we are not teached about. Like for instance in Portugal, we don't, nobody knows that we fought in Africa uh, during the First World War. We, we, we fought in, in, in Mozambique and we fought in Angola. Um, and the reason that we enter in the war, the first reason that we enter was exactly to defend our colonies from the, the, the German uh, menace. Um, but our presence in the, in, the, in the war was so disastrous uh, that we were so ill prepared to fight this war uh, not just in France, but in Africa, because you, you are dealing in a very uh, particular and difficult uh, tropical climate with a lot of uh, um, diseases and uh, lack of infrastructures to, 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 you know, to, to feed the animals, to the, the, the armies, to, 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 to all the logistics, to have a, 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 a big army in uh, Africa a hundred years ago was so tremendous that we were, it was a complete disaster. And so because of that, uh, that present was erased from uh, history books because it, it won't go with our um, nationalist uh, propaganda of uh, the good colonizers and why we could have uh, uh, colonies, you know, because we were supposed to be superior uh, than the Africans. And uh, all this uh, war experience showed exactly the opposite. And so for that reason, it was totally erased from the history books and made me to make this film even more important because I was going to be one of the first um, uh, cineasts to, to talk about it and to make a, a film about it. Uh, and so it, it, it made me more, uh, give me a more, a bigger responsibility to go deeper and more serious into the subject. Uh, even though our, this war the First World War in Africa was a long time ago, a hundred years ago. Uh, and the, the, the colonization in, of that period was a long time ago. We all still live uh, according to this uh, colonial heritage. We Europeans um, still think of the world in terms of a very Eurocentric way of thinking. Um, we, we still think Europe has the center of the world, not only um, economically, but in all aspects of our lives. Um, and that, you know, it, 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 you told it, academic, uh, aspects, the way we teach academically in the universities, in the schools, uh, the way you, we use our the language and a lot of terms that we use, uh, the way we think and integrate uh, people from uh, other parts of the world, their culture and their history uh, and uh, the acceptance of them in, the, in, uh, in our society. All that uh, comes from our colonial er heritage. And if it's important to, to, to see our, to, to, to see these films and the, the, our history and to learn about it, 
to learn about our responsibility as Europeans, the damage that we did uh, to the rest of the world, and particularly to Africa. And uh, today's Africa, today's vision we have of, uh, of uh, refugees, of, uh, uh, of uh, poverty in the southern hemisphere, all that is a consequence uh, of the, the, the centuries we had in Africa or in, uh, in South America, uh, of our presence that we had there. And that uh, and the the, um, the barbaric um, action that we did, you know, of killing, of pillage, of stealing other people's uh, richness, of stealing their culture, of uh, erasing their culture, of erasing uh, their autoesteem, and that was centuries, decades of uh, uh, mass European presence that we have to have that uh, conscience, you know, to understand uh, 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 what has happened today, you know, um, not only with the refugees, not only with the immigrants, to accept uh, uh, that all what is happening today is a consequence of our acts in the past. Uh, mosquito is many things, uh, but the idea of mosquito, mosquito is a, a, this small insect that you easily kill, you know, like this or one of these and you kill a mosquito. And so it's a, um, it's a very fragile uh, animal insect, but at the same time, he can do a lot of harm. Um, he can spread mortal diseases like uh, uh, malaria or yellow fever or a lot, you know, um, Zika. You, you know, it's, there's a lot of, uh, of uh, mortal diseases that the mosquito can, uh, can uh, transmit in the moment it stinks. And as for the film, Literally, what happened is that the uh, the protagonist Zacharias was was uh, bitten by a mosquito, so he got malaria, and part of his uh, feverish dreams and uh, hallucination comes from that fact. But in a broader uh, meaning, it's this uh, little soldier, Zacharias. He's a very small and insignificant soldier. He doesn't have any. Uh, power as a boy, he's just a 17-year fragile boy, but in the moment you give him a weapon and uh, this imperial uh, uniform from the, 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 colonial, the colonial army, he got a tremendous power, and with that power he can inflict a tremendous uh, pain and death to the others. And that represents uh, Zacharias as a mosquito, but also Portugal, like this small and insignificant uh, country in the world. You know, if you compare all the, 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 the countries in the world, Portugal is just a small uh, country. If you compare around Europe also, we are, uh, you know, just we are not part of the center of the Euro Europe. We are just this small country in Europe. But when we were, we had an empire, when we were uh, a colonial empire, we did uh, tremendous harm to millions and millions of people around the world. And so, it's, uh, it's that meaning. It's the meaning of uh, Zacarias and Portugal as this, uh, the insignificance of their size doesn't match with the harm and um, that they can do invested with uh, colonial powers. Well, like I told you in the previous, uh, in the first question, this story is about or is inspired in my grandfather's uh, experience. When he was a boy, 17 years old boy, he was, he wanted a lot to go to, to the war. 
I guess that was a, a, a way that young boys from small rural villages from the countryside could escape their village and live, you know, bigger experience, life experience. And uh, I, I guess war was like an interval for them. And so uh, he wanted, he desperately wanted to go uh, to France to fight the Germans. So he enlisted in the army and was sent not to France, but to Mozambique, where there was this remote and obscure war um, away from everybody's uh, attention. And when we, he got there, he got, uh, like many other soldiers, he got uh, uh, beaten by a mosquito with malaria and he got very ill in the, in the, in the campaign hospital. And uh, when he recovered, he, he wanted so much to, to, to live his uh, heroic adventures that uh, he convinced his, uh, his commander to go by himself to find that war. And uh, so he, he, he was given uh, a guide and a, um, a mule. And, uh, and there they go, uh, with just these two guys uh, walking through the jungle and the savannah. Uh, full of, uh, you know, terrible dangers. Could be the Germans, could be the, um, the, the natives, you know, from the tribes there, that they were hostile to the Portuguese presence. And, uh, and also the beasts, you know, the, 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 the lions, the snakes, um, even the, 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 the spiders, you know, there, there was a lot of, uh, of, um, of animal, um, very dangerous animals there. And so he walked um, alone with these two guys. And that all this is in the film. All this story, this part is in the film. And, um, and also the way he got um, alone, because there was a time he, he, he found himself alone and continue the journey, uh, that was also true. But those were the elements that, uh, that we had to build the story. What happened during the story, um, that was all created uh, uh, by me and the scriptwriters. Um, because this is a, a, a coming of age story. He started like a young boy and finished like a, a, an adult. And in the end, the end part, you know, what he found in the end of the film, uh, or most in the end, that was true also. I'm not going to tell you now because there will be spoilers, but that was also true. But what we did is giving a meaning to all this because the, the truth is that my grandfather didn't learn much with this this uh, uh, or with this adventure with this trip because he continued uh, with his eurocentric uh, way of uh, seeing Africa. And what we did in the film is that the, the film is all about uh, Zacharias. And we, we as an audience are with Zacharias and his point of view. So what he sees, we see. What he doesn't see, we don't see. What he doesn't understand, we don't understand. Or we don't give the tools for the audience to understand. The audience can understand by their mean, meanings. But we, as uh, filmmakers, we, we didn't give the, the tools to, to, to the audience to understand that. So being the point of view of Zacharias, the film starts as a very Eurocentric point of view of Africa. And the audience, the audience is guided by this Eurocentric point of view. But there is a, a twist in the film where the Africa starts taking uh, protagonism in the, in the film. 
And so the, the, the point of view of the film starts changing from this Eurocentric view to the more African view. And uh, from there, even the, 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 the protagonist changes also his perception of Africa and uh, all this uh, doctrine that um, uh, this narrative, this European narrative and Bellic narrative that was imposed to him. Um, and, and that was what we work and that part of the film is where we, we, we distance ourselves from the, the, the true story and go for the fiction and for what we intend, the meaning we intend to do with the film. Well, I must say that it was a uh, very intense um, shooting. Uh, it was very intense before shooting. We had to delay the film several several times, the shooting. The first, because of war, one week before we, we went uh, there to shoot, um, we had to, to delay because uh, some attacks broke in the north part of Mozambique where we we're going to shoot. And so we had to postpone, then I had to return several times. Even before that, you know, the first time I went there to research for the film, I, we did a, more than um, uh, 5,000 kilometers, you know, just in car all around to, to, to research and to discover the, the, every, the, the, the journey that my grandfather did. So all those moments were very, very intense. But I think the most memorable was the, the women's village shooting. Because this is a, 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 a war film. So a lot of soldiers, a lot of men. It was a very masculine energy all the time. And then we arrive in this uh, village and we stay there for one week. Well, we didn't arrive in a village. That the, all that village, we, we built that village. It was a set, but it was a set in the, in the middle of, of nowhere. And, uh, and uh, working with this, all these women, uh, all these actresses that I already had uh, um, worked with them, in the rehearse with them before, and then arriving there, and they were there, you know, exposed, almost naked, you know, it was... And all these, uh, uh, um, the extras, these women and children, that were, they weren't actors or actresses, they, they, they were just, you know, people from the, the, the surrounding villages. And there was this uh, generosity, there was this, uh, uh, you know, they just... Uh, um, open their arms and, and receive us with uh, such love and generosity and they give so much to the film. It was, you know, that was the biggest uh, uh, learning during the shoot. I, I think it was impossible to do that anywhere in Europe. Um, you know, we had kids in, since babies to, to 10 years old, 12 years old, and from all ages, and they were always cool. They were always willing to help, to do. There, there were, there were. There wasn't a child spoiled, you know. This woman also. They were these women all. All they were so full of energy and uh, and life, you know. They gave so much every time. That them we. All the time we stayed there, it was a full week. It was really, really uh, incredible. And I will take that as a learning for the rest of my life. And I, I, I uh, you know, I have just appreciation for what they give to the film and what the film is today because of them. Thank you. <laughs>